Hannah, thank you so much for meeting with me. Uh, it was great meeting you at that open house. And like I said, when I set this appointment, I do work a little bit different than most buyer's agents. I want to get to know you. And I want to get to know how you live in your house and where your family is and where you grew up and really deeply what you are looking for in a house because I do this full time. So while you're at your job, I'm going to be out finding your house. I don't want you to say, hey, I love, you know, I want to live in the South Metro. I want a three bed, two bath and let's go see them all because I guarantee it. 99% of them aren't going to fit what you're really looking for. Make right. sense? Yep. Okay. So I am going to ask a lot of questions. I have a couple pages of questions, but it's going to be fun because this whole time I'm, I'm going to be asking about you and your life and what you are really, really looking for in a house. You Great. ready? Yes. Okay. So first of all, tell me a little bit about yourself. Did you grow up in this area? I did not. I'm from Iowa originally. Okay. Um, so this is where I would come to like go shopping and things like that, but I'm not from here. Okay. So uh, is your family still in Iowa? No, my parents are in South St. Paul and then I have two siblings in Iowa and then one in Minneapolis. Okay. When did you come up here? Uh, that's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't April, mean these to be tricky. <laughs> right. April of 2020, either 2019 or 2020. Oh, so you just moved up here. Yeah. What brought you up here? We were in North Carolina before. Okay. Moved up here to be closer to family, have easier access for holidays instead of flying back and forth across the country and all of that. So. Gotcha. What's your boyfriend's name? Tyler. Tyler. And where is he from? He is, well, he's from Minnesota. He lived kind of all over the state, okay. but he was born in St. Paul and spent a lot of his life in Worthington. So South. Oh, gotcha. West. Yep. South corner. Yeah. Okay. So, and, and I want to get a feel for that because, you know, do you need a house where family is going to come and stay with you for a week at a time? Yes, probably. Potentially? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. But neither of, well, uh, now did he go to school around here? He's in school right now. So he is going to Century College in White Bear Lake. Gotcha. And... He's going to live with you, right? Mm -hmm. Is it important to be close to there? No. Which the South Metro is not? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He can just drive. <laughs> he can just drive. I love it. So talk to me a little bit about what you do when you're at home. Okay. Um, what do I do when I'm at home? I watch TV. Okay. <laughs> I also Everyone is always afraid to say that. It's like, I watch I a lot watch of TV. TV. <laughs> it's like, so do I. Sorry. Yeah. I'm a binger. Um, I mean, honestly, when we're home, we're usually just like hanging out in the living room or okay. we share an office right now. So we're in the office doing, he's either doing schoolwork and I'm doing whatever or what have you. But we're usually okay. either like in our living room or in our office. Um, so you need a home office? Yes. Okay. And then, um, or cooking, I guess, but we kind of don't cook a lot anymore. Okay, <laughs> just because of, because you're too busy? Yeah, yeah, just schedules, not aligning. But would a nice kitchen be important? I mean, is that a room you spend a lot of time in, or is it that, um, is it that comfortable living, big living space? I think I'd be open to, like, redoing a kitchen. So oh, okay. So not necessarily, more so, like, space of a kitchen than actual nice kitchen. Got it. Yeah. Okay, talk to me more about that. What about the space of the kitchen? Um... I would love a space for like an island. Okay. Because we have one right now. And okay. And I that's where we eat primarily. We don't really use our dining room table. So um an island would be nice and then um enough we don't have enough cabinet space right now. That's one of our big issues. Okay. Um so somewhere something that has enough wall space for cabinets or a pantry or something like that. Okay. We don't necessarily need like the high end finishes or anything like that. That's stuff that we're willing to do while we live there, but got it. We don't want to have to like go through and change the layout a ton if that makes sense. <laughs> yes. So, talk to your current kitchen. Mhm. Mm tell me tell me about it. Where is it compared to the other so spaces? So, we live in a two-story townhouse. Okay. So, it's basically the main level is it's an L shape and it's kitchen, 
dining room, living room. Yep. Um, <laughs> I've been in a thousand of those. <laughs> um, yes. And it's all open, which I love. Okay. Um, but the back L is the kitchen cabinets, stove, sink, all of that, and then there's yep. an island, and then dining room that leads out to our deck. So it's like, okay, um, all one line. Back wall, the back L wall is the kitchen cabinets. There just isn't enough space. We don't have any, like, we don't even have room to put our trash can anywhere in our kitchen. It's in ah, our closet. So okay. that sort of stuff would be more okay. so what deck up here. Am I right there? Yeah, except flipped, but that's okay. Like the living room and <laughs> the so living like room and kitchen here. is like flipped, but yes, okay. it's the same. Just okay. Just so different. is it important? <laughs> is it important though to to have your kitchen near to your living space? Um, yeah, because we because okay. we do host a decent amount. So so you entertain at your house? Yes. Okay, tell me more about that. Um, usually it's just kind of like one of one sets of parents are over so they're kind of in the living room hanging out and then we're making food or getting like a charcuterie board put together or something like that in the you kitchen are fancy super fancy <laughs> and you said charcuterie right i did Dang. i took i took french in college so. oh my gosh that is awesome <laughs> i want to come over and have charcuterie okay so you have parents over do you have friends over so do you entertain a lot um I would say we have people over at least like once every two weeks. So okay. I don't know if that qualifies as a lot or not. 24 times a year? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's important to have that nice flow between. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Okay. Um, so it, I, I always ask this, cold winter day, it's snowing out. What are you doing? You're, you're on the couch with your dog watching Correct. Netflix. Yep. Okay. Or reading or something. Got it. Um, what about in the summer? We, um, I like to be outside in the summer, so I okay. like to hike. I like to just like go for walks. Okay. Um, or go on vacation. Okay, so it would be important to be by parks or trails or at least yeah, something with like a sidewalk and not on a busy road. Right. Okay. Sidewalks, definitely, for sure. Okay. Um, so you have that puppy. Mm -hmm. Would... Um, so currently you have a yard no oh okay. we don't so we so it's kind of weird our main level is ground level from the front and then it's built into a hill and we have a pond in our backyard so we don't have access to our backyard uh -huh. we're elevated off of it um so basically we just have like green space that's shared between all of our neighbors okay her to go to the bathroom and then if we go for a walk or a hike we go to like lebanon hills or something like that so so what are you looking for in terms of green space and outdoor space? Um, well, we're lucky our dog isn't like spend time outside by herself type of dog. Okay. But um, I would like some sort of yard. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, but okay. something that we could put like a fire ring in or something like that and have fires and like be able to host outside basically. Gotcha. Yeah. You guys barbecue? Do you have a grill? We don't own a grill. <laughs> when you buy a house, do you want a grill? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, the perfect housewarming gift, right? Right. Oh, love it. Okay. All right. Do you have pets other than the dog? No. Okay. Um, do you have anything currently that would require its own special space? And things I've run into, uh, well, for like king size bed. I mean, there are some master bedrooms that will not fit a king size bed. Right. Do you have one? Okay, uh, baby grand piano. Nope. Uh, giant workout gym thing. Pelotons no. can fit anywhere. No. Okay, so nothing unusually sized. Like I, I had one person who had like a 15 seat dining room. No. That was a struggle. Definitely not us. Okay. <laughs> I do have a lot of house plants. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so is it important to have a lot of natural light then? Yes. Do you like plants? Mm -hmm. Like these? Mm -hmm. huh. What what brought that? You just have always liked house plants? Um, I worked at a grocery store that sold plants. I worked at hy -Vee Yeah. When I moved up here and I started just like buying plants randomly. Oh. Um, <laughs> I love that. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't really know how it happened, but it, it's a slippery slope. Uh, that's me with purses. <laughs> Can't stop buying them. Okay. <laughs> um, so talk to me, I know you've been looking online at houses and have gone to a couple open houses. What, when, when people come to your house, and they walk in, what do you, what do you kind of want them to say about your house? Well, I have an aesthetic. Okay, tell it's me your aesthetic. Scandinavian desert. <laughs> so think Scandinavian, so like cream, beige. Um, to me, Scandinavian is like black, contemporary, white. light. Yes. Yeah, like clean lines, Yes. very neutral colors. And then I also love the colors of like the desert palette. So it's like, like this color. Um, um, okay, like that burnt, is interesting. Burnt orange, maybe some like um, pale, not pale, like desert muted, colors, muted blue, stuff like, like that. Cactus um, colors. Yeah. So that's kind of um, like my design preference. So with that comes like the the layout. So it's open, it's inviting. Okay. It's like a cozy, but it's like a modern cozy. So okay, so m you like more the contemporary, the clean yeah, lines, not one hundred percent, not the decorative built-ins and the one hundred percent. I okay. am not a farmhouse girl, okay. and I'm not a like a Victorian style house. Got it. Person. So it sounds like the desert is more a, a palette. Yeah, and the 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 house lines you want more Scandinavian, Scandinavian, yeah. modern. Love that. I I like it when I can get very specific. Because then it helps me, I mean, I can right. go in and if it looks Scandinavian on the, in the photos and I go to the house and it's like your tutor mm -hmm. and doesn't fit at all, I can say, oh my gosh, they lied. <laughs> um, so that really does help. So I love it that you're getting very specific. Um, okay, so, so when, when people walk in, you want them to say, oh my gosh, this is so bright and yet warm. Yeah. Because the colors, the color tones, I love yes. that. Okay. Um, is there anything else about your lifestyle that I haven't asked about? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think and so. And I don't need to know that you like to go clubbing. I just, <laughs> I want to know about how you live in your house. Yeah, and I don't. Are, you know, do you have people over? Do you have, does your boyfriend have poker night? Mm -hmm. um, where you need a place <laughs> where they can smoke cigar, you know, just things like that. Um, oh, um, I mean, you're probably going to ask this later, but garage is important. Oh, I will be asking. Yeah. So let me get that. That's more of like a process. his lifestyle, more so than mine, but that is Got important. it. Because I am going to get into the specifics of the house. Right. I just wanted to know generally. So now I kind of get a feel for it's going to be light. It's going to be bright. It's going to have those clean lines. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be nice and open for entertaining. You're going to have a beautiful outside space. Uh, maybe a little uh, terrarium in your kitchen for your plants. <laughs> I'm getting it. I'm getting it. All right. So let's say we find the perfect house. And you can take that house and pick it up and put it anywhere you want. Where would it be? Um, probably either Apple Valley or Egan. Okay. Is there a specific area and neighborhood in those areas? Um, I prefer, I mean, not really. I'm pretty open okay. to anywhere in those. Um, I'm not a huge fan of, so in Egan, like Diffley, that's not my favorite area. Um, but if the perfect house was there, I'd absolutely live there. Okay. But that's like lower on my list. Of, okay. Like the actual location within those cities is lower on my list than it is okay. to be like in that area if that makes sense. So the target and I'm backwards and I normally have a map up but I'm not going to is is Apple Valley Egan that top yeah. part. So give me a north border from there. How far north? Egan is like the main road cutoff. Yep. North border. For Apple Valley like area, would you go into Bloomington? I would. Okay. Um, so if you'd go into Bloomington would you go into Richfield? Potentially. That it depends okay. on how close it is to Minneapolis. And that's not a me thing, that's my boyfriend. That okay. Is like that. So he, he much prefers to be further out just because he doesn't love people. He likes he's a whole body who likes to like have his privacy. Gotcha. So it okay. would take it would have to take like the perfect house for us to do that. Even Bloomington is kind of on that border, but I would consider Bloomington. 
let's let's set up the search. I like to set it up as broad as possible to give you the most choices, and we'll narrow it down. And okay. if he just doesn't like that area, we'll we'll okay. take it off. But let's start there. Um, so give me then a south border. Uh, if he likes Farmington. Country, Farmington. Okay. I was gonna say, are you willing to go that far? Um, potentially. Mm, potentially Northfield, but nothing like out in the country between. It would have to be like in Northfield, if okay. that makes sense. Yep. Um, that is definitely the furthest out we would go, though. So farming, okay. I mean, like, again, south end of Egan, because there really is nothing south of Egan. And then like Farmington for this area. So yeah. east border, would you go to Cottage Grove? No. Okay. East border, I would say Egan. Egan, okay, yep. got it. And then west border, I would say. Um, would you go Lakeville, Savage, Prior Lake? Prior Lake would be pushing it, but we would consider it. Okay. So yeah, Prior Lake, um, Lakeville, Savage. Savage. Yeah. Okay. All right, love it. I I just I like to get nice parameters. It just it'll make our search easier. New, I like that. Um, are schools important? Um, yes and no. I would err on the side of no right now. We don't have okay. kids, so okay. I mean, not really. Okay. Um, at some point they will be, but not right now. Okay, and Minneapolis notoriously has really good schools. Right. Um, so I think the areas you're looking in all have great rated schools. Right. Um, anything else abo about the location that's really important to you? I know you don't, you want to be kind of near trails, you don't want to be on a busy road, you have a cute little dog. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, I think um, we're more focused on the house okay. than we are about the exact location. Got it. Perfect. All right, you made it to page one. I know, right? Do you have a preference for when it was built? And that is going to be, a, well, do you have a preference? Because if you are willing to go Bloomington and even Lakeville Savage uh, and Richfield, you can get some older homes. Mm -hmm. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I don't have a preference. Okay, and, and your, your choice of style might limit that? Right. Because again, in 1920, they didn't really build contemporary yeah. houses. My issue with Bloomington and Richfield too is that a lot of them are like the old style Ramblers, which are not my yeah. favorite. So. Got it, and we'll, we'll get see. to that. Yeah. Okay, okay. But no preference as far as like okay. your build. And you already said, um, all right, I always ask this question, do you want a home move-in ready or are you willing to do some work? Now I wanna clarify this because I've had some clients that are like, oh yeah, I wanna move in ready. And what that means to them is it is the exact wall colors I want, it is the perfect upgraded granite stainless kitchen, the bathrooms are updated, you know, everything's new. Other people, move in ready means I can move there and live there and change things to what I want as I go. Mm -hmm. So there's the extreme, move in ready, everything updated. Move in ready, you can live there. The decor may be stuck in 1970 or not quite habitable and it needs some work. Where are you on that scale? Um, in the middle. Okay, so, yeah, so livable, you need to be able to, to, be able to live it. there. Yeah. Got it. Perfect. Now, as far as being willing to do some work, you already said the kitchen can be, you know, functional mm -hmm. and you're willing to upgrade. To, are you willing to knock down walls if a wall needed to be knocked down to make it an open concept? Um, I will if we need to. Okay. I don't necessarily want to, but if everything okay. else is right, then I would do it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, like a foreclosure that's just trash, no thanks. Well, you wouldn't be able to live there, so never mind. Right. Okay. That gives me a good idea, though. Uh, what if it has a pool or a hot tub? Um, I would prefer thumbs it up, thumbs didn't. Thumbs up, thumbs neutral? I would prefer it didn't. Uh, to either? Um, yes, I don't want either. Okay, because I can I can put it in the search where it's a, if there's a pool or hot tub, it will not show it to you. A hot tub, I think, 
I would be fine with because those are, I mean, if we end up not liking it or not using it, we can get rid of it. Yep. But a pool is a little bit more work than yeah, it is. So. I grew up with a house with a pool, and the people that bought it, bought it from us filled it in. Yeah. Oh, we cried. Oh, <laughs> I love that pool. Uh, but it, I mean, th it was a lot of work to fill it in. Okay, yeah. so a hot tub will be okay. Because um, again, in that area, there are a lot of people with pools. So, yeah. all right. What, as far as size of house, how big is the townhouse you live in right now? Two bedroom, two bathroom. Do you know how many square feet? Um, I want to say like sixteen hundred square feet. Maybe. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So good it's size. Not, it's not small by any means. Okay. But. So, are you looking for more square footage, or is the square footage you have fine? Not necessarily. Okay. Um, our bedrooms are really big. I would be fine with a smaller bedroom and an extra bedroom than having two big bedrooms. I would rather have like a three bedroom okay. with smaller rooms. I think our uh, main bedroom right now is like 14 by 14 feet. It's huge. Okay. And it's, we just don't use the space. Gotcha. So, okay. So big bedrooms are not really important. Um, You'd well, rather have it in the living space. I would like them to like, we have a queen size bed. So a queen size bed plus a dresser, maybe some night stands with like a little bit of extra space not like so small that you can't walk around right but, like, right it doesn't need to be massive okay all right so if we start your search at 1600 yeah okay all right now we are to the question that you alluded to before so you don't like ramblers um, I don't like old Ramblers. The newer style of Rambler, where on the front it looks like it potentially has like a half story above it, I don't mind those. I don't like like the um, just like the box Ramblers. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Is there any style? Because I'm going to keep it open for now. Uh, just there are some mid-century modern Ramblers that you would drool. Mm -hmm. They're so gorgeous. Um, are there any styles that you hate? Um, like the split, split level. levels. Okay, now there are three different kinds of splits. There's a three, two level, three level, four level. So two level, you walk in the door and you have to make a choice. Yeah. Is Those that the kind you don't like? like? Yeah. Okay, have you seen any of the three or four level splits? Yes. Are you okay with those? Yes. Okay, perfect. So we will take out split level, the poor split level. So maligned. Um, what about what about siding? Um, I don't love wood siding okay. because of the maintenance. Yep, I was going to say that is that is the most maintenance. Okay. Um, again, if it's the right house, potentially yep. we would do it. Um, and I ask that because I've had a couple of people that are like, "Don't ever show me a stucco house." Oh yeah, I don't like stucco houses actually. <laughs> <laughs> now that you say that. I would rather have... I can take it off the right. search. Right. I would rather have wood than stucco. Because... Okay. Just, if the house is perfect, look. though, would you put up with stucco? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's take yeah. it... Let, yeah, leave it in for now. Okay. I was going to say, we can take it out. And if you're not finding what you want, we can put it back in. No, you can leave it in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving stucco in reluctantly. Okay, love that. Uh, now we are to the garage. Yay. Talk to me about the garage. Um, we need at least two stalls. Okay. An oversized would be great. A third stall would be great, but it's not required. Okay, um, tell me why. What's important about so that? So he does all of the maintenance for our vehicles. Gotcha. So he just needs, so right now Dang. we have a single stall, so there's no room to like, be around the vehicle really gotcha. so he needs to be able to like get in and out from underneath the vehicles mainly um anything beyond that just, gotcha. just icing on the cake but beautiful and does it have to be attached no okay okay porch deck outside living space um i would love a deck However, we can add it on. It's not okay. like a deal breaker by any means. Okay. But you'd like, a, you want an outside space. Yeah, I want the um, the option to yep. build something if we yeah. want to build something. Okay. All right. Anything else about the exterior features of the house? Um, I 
don't think so. Yeah, I'm not worried about like landscaping or anything like that. Okay. Um, well, you you love know. plants. Yeah. You get to do that yourself. Right. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess uh, I love like interesting roof lines. I love interesting like again mid-century, right? Like I love the yeah. um, like where it, like juts out or like something or fun. Ang yeah. yeah, funky angle. Something fun love like that. that. I love those, but that's also not required. <laughs> okay, but that would be a bonus. Right. We could find you something kind of yeah. cool like that. You've totally already answered the next two questions because it's what style do you want? And it's contemporary. And what floor plan? It's open. <laughs> Got that. So let's talk about bedrooms and bathrooms. So we would love three bedrooms um, and two bathrooms. I mean, it depends on the house. So if it has multiple stories, we want at least one bathroom on each story. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so if it's a two-story house with a basement, you want three bathrooms. Ideally, yeah. Or the ability to add a bathroom to whatever floor doesn't. Husband's a plumber. You can add a bathroom anywhere. Right. For enough money. Right. Okay. Um, okay, but let me note that that would be ideal. Mm. I should mention, I do not like story and a half houses. Okay. Let me go back to that. Um, tell me why. Um, I grew up in one. I grew up in an old farmhouse. It okay. It was a half story, and I had the bedroom upstairs, and I'd hit my head on the ceiling. <laughs> gotcha. So I've, I've been out showing a guy that's six foot four, and yeah. it, his head's starting to do this. Yeah. From because I've showed him story in half. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. I can appreciate that too. All right. Um, so three bed. Is one of those an office? Yeah. So two bed, okay. So if we found a two bedroom plus an office or, that didn't have a yeah. closet. Or like a loft or anything like that, I would be open to it. Okay. So I want to back up a little bit. Tell me about your plan for this house. Is this your forever house? Is it your, you know, might marry this guy I'm dating and have kids and we're going to raise the kids there and when they go to college, we'll think about buying a new house. Or is it, this is my starter home. I'm going to have it for three to seven years and then I'm out. Um, probably close to a starter home. Okay. My intention would be to buy something that needs a little bit of work and then build Perfect. it. Perfect. Um, build it up over the course of a couple years and then okay. we sell. That's really important for me to know because then I can... Judge, you know, I'll, I'll let you know what will build equity the fastest. Right. We want to find houses that will build equity, right? Um, okay, love that. All right, so, and that's where I was getting too bad. I don't know if you're going to get married, have five kids, that won't work. Um, I think I'm <laughs> as long as we have, Assuming. Um, as long as we have two bedrooms and then a space for an office, Got I it. think we'll be fine. Perfect. All right, I am going to start you with three bed plus uh, on the search, and let's see what that brings up. So bathrooms, again, you'd prefer one on every floor. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you this. If it was a two-story house and had a full bath on the top floor where the bedrooms were, and then on the main floor had a half bath, and downstairs had a rough-in, mm -hmm. would that work? That's fine. They don't have to be full bathrooms. Okay, um, so really only one place to bathe. Right, so... Okay. Wherever the majority of the bedrooms are, I'd love to have a full bathroom. Got it. Um, if the main level doesn't have any bedrooms on it, a powder room is fine, like a half bath. Perfect. Um, basement, we can add in a bathroom or, yep. I mean, half bath or full bath. It, it doesn't really make a difference. Perfect. Okay. That helps. Uh, kitchen. You, and we've talked a bit about the kitchen. You'd love an island. Mm -hmm. You need cupboard space. Yes. Talk to me more about that. Why is that important? Um, we have a lot of gadgets. Okay. <laughs> Name five. Um, we have two crock pots. We have an Instapot. <laughs> we have a KitchenAid mixer. Oh my gosh. We have a hand mixer, um, a toaster, two coffee makers. What the heck? All right, I'm with you. A blender. Need cupboard space. Food processor. Or a big pantry. <laughs> yeah, a pantry would work. Or just like somewhere to store things. It can be a closet, but I don't want it to be like shared with a coat closet, if that makes sense. Yep, yep, absolutely. Okay. All those and you don't cook a lot, huh? 
Well, we used to. <laughs> okay. It's just, yeah. Time. It, yeah, schedules don't align well. Got it. Oh, I love that. All right. Um, so dining room. Do you currently have like a dining room or kitchen table? Um, we have a dining room table. Uh, it's like one of those circle ones that sits four and then it has a leaf. So it seats six total. Okay. Um, we, I hate it. I want just so you like want a new one. Yeah, I want um, basically one that is just one size, no leaf, and it seats six, and then the option eight. for eight. Yeah, so a little bit bigger. But if we find something that doesn't have a dining room, that's also okay. We don't eat at our dining room table right now. Okay. So we don't necessarily need a dining room. Okay, but if it had, and I get you're saying because you're saying dining room like it's a separate room. Right would you like an area to have a big six foot table that you could put eight on the end? Ideally, yeah. Okay. Because I want your ideal. All right, um, so your current one, you hate. I'm not even gonna write it down. What about living spaces? So right now in your townhouse, how many living spaces do you have? Just one. How many do you want? Um, I would love two. Okay. I would love a living room and like a den or a family room. Okay, and not the office. That's a different space. Right. Right? Okay. I mean, I guess, no, I don't want an office in the den. That's All right. Much. All right, so Aaron, my lender, told me you are approved up to 400,000. Mm -hmm. I think we can find this in your budget. Okay. So looking at all of these things you just told me, Tell me three things that this house absolutely has to have or you don't want to see it. Um, probably um, the kitchen would be up there. So like the ability to make the kitchen what we want it to be. So whether or not it actually has the cabinet space right now, the ability to get it to where we need it to be. Tell me more specifically what that looks like. So I've seen in some houses where there is like an, a non-supporting wall going up. I should clarify, we're fine with taking out walls that are not supporting, which can, I hope that's yeah. all you take out. Well, um, no, but you can get support. Right. I get what you mean. Yeah, so if it has the ability to be an open floor plan I should say open floor plan is actually number one. That's what we really want, but we can or also the ability get it to there. make it. Right. Okay. So um, the crossing out kitchen. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Um, so open floor plan or something that allows us to make it open. Yep. Um, probably garage. Has to be two car. Two stall garage. Okay. Yep. So if we found the perfect house in the perfect location, everything about it was absolutely gorgeous, just exactly what you look for, but it was a one car garage. No. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for yeah. is the deal breakers. Um, and then what would the third one be? Probably the two living spaces. Okay, now let me ask you this. If we found a house that had beautiful living room and the basement was unfinished but finishable. Love it. Okay, but there has to be the potential for two living spaces. Yes. At least, got it. Um, what about fireplaces? Not necessary. Okay. All right, so I know a lot more about what you're looking for in a house now. Here's what we do. I'm gonna go back to my computer and I'm gonna set you up on a search, okay? And you're gonna get a whole bunch of houses because you have a big area and a fairly big budget, okay? You get to pick the first five houses we see. We're gonna to go tour them. And if the house is not in those first five, I am going to be taking careful notes and comparing it with everything you just told me, okay? Because I'll, I'll find out little things. Like I had a client once that absolutely would not buy a house with a laundry room that didn't have a ceiling. 
She didn't understand the concept that you could put one in, but they, she hated it. And, and that, that's not in the pictures, right? So I learned these funky little things out about people when, when they see the houses. If we don't find the house in those first five, you will never again see a house that I haven't seen first. So when you get that MLS notification that a new house came on the market and you say, oh my gosh, Chris, this looks perfect. I'm gonna go see it first and I'm either gonna call you and say, oh my gosh, Hannah, get down here right now, this is it. Or I'm gonna say, oh my gosh, it has one of those creepy basements that is only like six feet high and you can't finish it, it's not gonna work. Make okay. sense? Yes. Uh, uh, it's saving us both time, right? Because I can run through very quickly and decide if it is a fit for you. And then you're not wasting your time going and looking at houses that don't right. fit. Make sense? Yes. All right, are you ready to hire me? Yes. Beautiful, I have this contract I'd like you to sign.